So what it is, guys, is we're up here getting ready to do this Higgins Lake uh, camping trip with the boat. And uh, we had to disconnect the boat because their lobby isn't open. Uh, we just decided to go ahead and dispatch the trailer. I sat here with the trailer as she went through the drive through Fun stuff. nice padded straps that's pretty convenient and it's got straps to keep everything kind of contained on the outside Here's Kristen and I, cheers to it. Starting our vacation off proper. With uh, with us, we have the, no, yeah, Kristen, we got Kristen with us. The Gazelle T8 hub tent. Let's go do a little bit of a walk around. All right, so as you can see, it's a pretty spacious tent. The reason for the unboxing on this tent is we had gotten one here Oh, probably a couple years ago now and they had a design flaw with the stitching I can't remember if it was here or right here not a tent expert just trying to show you what to buy and what not to buy it's got oh d-shaped like doors here and as you go in it is very spacious on um, this side looks to be you've got three pockets on either side of this zip up wall that's got little tie outs to just hang it up there and you've got a this will go to each corner there and then you can stuff you know like a lamp or you know clothes that kind of thing up there comes with one over here okay so as I thought they did not put pockets on the other side of the tent why I don't know it'd be kind of cool if they did oh and you've got little big old little storage areas right there looks like the inside of the hub is also protected now so they've definitely upped their game um, yeah, you've got ventilation well, that's not ventilation. that's another storage area on the inside the which I'll show you guys another video on the other tent because we never got rid of it we just had to thrash it up a little bit so it wasn't usable now i did thrash one side of one of the walls but i made it to where I, i'm going to cobble this thing back up together and uh continue to use it because these things are quite pricey but yeah that's the gazelle eight hub tent that's what we uh we will be staying in over the duration of the next few days so uh thanks for watching i've got more uh Upcoming for you. Thanks. Ooh, the 
amenities. Four of us on an adventure. Stay tuned. Higgins Lake, north and south. Right there is the closest point. Next to, to this Peter over here. Who wants to go with Uncle Roman and Brett? And then you've got way out there, Sunken Island. That's going to be an adventure. Hey, it's Troy back with Kinetic Grove. We're out here on Higgins Lake for the next few days. We'll uh, turn this thing around and get a little bit of a view of the sunset going on here, guys. Those clouds over there, directly that way that I showed you just a second ago, looks like a the storm that's supposed to have been showing up in 10 minutes, in 20 minutes, in 23 seconds. It's it's supposed to be raining right now. They don't know what they're talking about. But when is the weatherman ever accurate? So tomorrow, uh, we tried today on going out to the island in the northern part of Higgins Lake. And that's when we all looked at radar because of the clouds that was coming in. And we flipped a coin. Two out of three, one going back to the campsite, and it never rained. But it's better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. We're going to give it a shot again tomorrow. Stay tuned. Oh, they're the same time. Yeah, Mom. Those little peeps. Yeah, Mom. Mom, come on. Get your mommy. 